the fuck is good, YouTube? We're back at it with another video, making the Stallion freestyles. I know everyone's asked for this, okay? We've been getting this request for months, literally. Yep, for months. So, uh, this we're one doing is it. part two. Mm -hmm. um, I, I honestly, the real reason why I'm start, we're starting with part two is because it was right there on our homepage. Yep. So, it was a message from. Yep. From you know, the Megan Stallion gods. Yeah, but they're like, this is the one you got to react mm -hmm. to. But yeah, this is really requested. Yeah. So many people have requested this one uh, since we started doing Megan videos. Yeah. So we're hype. Uh, real quick, make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter so that we can stay up to date with everything else we're doing. And uh, you know, if you're interested in our personal lives, you might be a little interested in seeing Come what's going on there. You can DM us. Sometimes we'll respond. Sometimes we won't. Yeah, you know, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Just depends. Just depends. Just depends. And as well as if you are interested in supporting us, then make sure to check our Patreon. There'll be a link there below. There's some really cool perks in there. But without further ado, let's jump into this. <laughs> So as per usual, Megan came out spin. Yeah, yeah. I love that that last flow, mm -hmm. and of course it made me laugh. That's what something I feel like Megan does a really good job of. I feel like I laugh in every single one of her videos. <laughs> she always just has like at least one bar in there where I'm like, that's oh, fucking yeah. hilarious. Yeah. You know what I mean? She'll have like anime references and mm -hmm. then say some hard ass shit, and you're like, yeah. what the? Heck? Yeah, you're like you're right, mixing right. the genres, okay. okay? But like, I love that. Like, they gonna hate me when I'm rich. They gonna hate me when I'm broke. She, she gonna hate me when my, the nigga got my nut in his throat. I think was <laughs> and like. God damn, for one. That's yeah. that's something to say to someone, yeah. you know what I mean? But it's also real, you know? Like, if, when you have haters, it don't matter if you're mm -hmm. rich, bro, whatever. The, like, if you're succeeding, you're not succeeding, yeah. you're always going to have haters. You always got people you're doing, hating on what you're doing. Yeah, you're doing bad, they're going to call you a noob. If you're doing good, they're going to call you a tryhard. Yeah, it, that's literally, yeah, exactly. Everyone's Beautifully said. Got, yeah, everyone's got beef with somebody. Yeah, so. that's just how it is. <laughs> Is that 16 damn. bars? I don't know. Those are fast, right? She's, Those are some fast ass yeah, bars. Like, she's staying on it. That's the thing about Megan. And, you know, we've mm -hmm. talked about this a little bit before, but, like, her ability to just, like, deliver bar after bar without mm -hmm. really needing that break or that pause, or, mm -hmm. like, it's so hard to tell when she's breathing. You know what yeah. I mean? Because like, every every rapper and stuff, and I've done it for myself, is, you know, I, I make music on the side just for fun. Mm -hmm. Go check it out. Yeah, should. Link below. Uh, you have to find where you're going to insert that breath. And some mm -hmm. rappers will actually write it into their bars where they're going to breathe and stuff like that. So they'll give them themselves the pause, and you'll have, like, those, like, okay, I'll drop the beat off right here. I'll say my last hard line. Yeah. There'll be, like, that second pause. I can breathe and then start spitting again type of thing. Mm -hmm. You know? With Megan, it's just like, da 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 And you're sitting yeah. there, and it's like five minutes, you're like, God damn, man. Yeah. Where does bitch lungs come from? Yeah, damn. Think, she got some one of those like Wakanda goddamn <laughs> vibranium ones or some shit. <laughs> no, and it's awesome because she like yeah. she's not in the studio and it still sounds good, right? Obviously, all auto quality is probably on someone's cell phone. It doesn't sound yeah. great. It's also, that beat phone. though. Yeah, but the beat's killing it. Beat's fucking. Bumping. And she's just spinning on it. It's awesome. Yeah. It's really she's cool just fucking watch. doing her little freestyle thing. Yeah. And yeah, I just wanted to pause and give it some appreciation. Oh yeah. You know, and I, I feel like, and you can tell that she's really passionate. Like oh you can see, God. like she's like, like she has like that smile on her face because she yeah. knows she's getting to the end. She's like, I just killed this shit. Yeah. And it's like, it's just so cool to see when people are like truly passionate. Because there's people, and you know, we've talked about this before, and she said so herself, and her comments have even said she said so herself. But there's people like Cardi B. Mm -hmm. which is still an amazing performer and everything like that, but they're mm -hmm. in it for the money. Mm -hmm. You know, and Cardi B has gone on record saying that. You can look it up if you don't believe me before you type in the comments telling me I'm lying. Hey, and nice. there will also be other comments that people have said that that is also true. 
but there's people that do it because that's that's what they love and they're truly passionate mm. about. Someone like Megan The Stallion is that type of person. Yeah, and I respect that more than anything. Oh yeah, you know? absolutely. It's like, and like we we can look at like Nikki too. Like back when Nikki was like, oh, well, yeah. we did the before fame uh, mm-hmm. freestyle. She was there. She was like this, just killing it, right? Yep. And it's really cool to see like these passionate rappers, and I think those are the ones that are gonna stay around for the long. They are. They're they're the ones yeah. that that stay around. They're. They're the fucking Eminem, the Snoop Dogs, yeah. you know, the, the ones that, like, Ice still Q, to this day are still dropping music, and, you know, yeah. they they were born before I was born type, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, these type of people Jay-Z, are the ones that stay relevant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. And Drake, you know, I mean, Drake's oh, yeah, newer, yeah. but he's still been doing mm-hmm. it for a long time, if you really actually think about it. Yeah. And it's crazy, but, like, that's what I want to see. Mm-hmm. You know oh, what I, I mean? I want to see her in a granny panties and, like... 60 years, buying a lot. Man, I'm on my eat the kitty like this. Down there, like, southern Yo, country. man, down there dusting yeah. the cobwebs before he eats his pussy. Get that Swiffer duster. Y'all still got those in the year of 2090? <laughs> All right, let's, let's, let's move on. Well, I ain't sorry for a motherfucking thing. Oh, that's a fun beat. Mm-hmm. I say, and I got these bitches mad at me because no, they like, know I'm not. Yeah, and I, I got be you like, hate sick because I'm everything mm-hmm. you're not. Okay, she's shaking that ass, so she must be a hoe. Okay, oh, yeah. well, get on the block and show me how it go. When you really got to eat, you ain't really been to sleep, and you ain't never really need a nigga to put you on your feet. It's really surprising what I'm bringing. Not okay, we, we need to talk about that because that was fire. <laughs> This is gonna be a longer video, but I, oh I, I do want to have a more yeah. in-depth approach yeah, okay. in this video. Serious in-depth reaction <laughs> to Megan The Stallion freestyle. Here we go. But like <laughs> that bar right there, I feel like is a really important bar and something mm-hmm. that people need to like maybe even hear it twice, maybe even rewind this shit. But it's true because there's there's always a perspective of like, oh, you know, you're shaking your ass, you're a hoe, or, mm-hmm. or you're selling drugs, you're a bad person, and what they don't see. Especially if you're not on that side of the community, there's mm-hmm. just because it's easy to judge from the outside. When you've never experienced something; it's easy to judge, right? Is that like, hey, they're doing that because maybe they don't have a choice. You know what yeah. I mean? Like yeah. they they gotta eat. They're human. Like they have yeah. to eat too. Yeah. You know what I mean? They have to have a place to live. They have to have stuff. You know, food, clothes, everything yeah. like that. And you know, a lot of like these poor. Um, Places that a lot of these black people are from, like the projects and stuff like that. There's a lot of systematic racism. Like, oh, just go get a job. A lot of these people won't hire because all yeah. of the management is white and stuff like that. And they won't hire black people. That's that's just a thing that will yeah. happen. And if there is jobs, like like you're saying, like they won't be allowed in because of their race. And mm-hmm. then, like, there's not a lot of jobs around those areas. And not well-paying yeah. jobs either. It's like, exactly. oh, like, go work at, like, a corner store. Or go work mm-hmm. at, like, a factory. And it's like, well, what about people who need, like, like good paying jobs. How many like, of you can work at a corner store and afford an apartment and everything on yeah, your own? Exactly. Because I know the fuck I couldn't. No. Absolutely. I've had jobs that pay better than corner stores. Nice. I've had jobs yeah. pay fifteen dollars an hour. I yeah. can't move out on my own. Yeah, and cost of living, and we know cost of living in California is so fucking high. Oh so, God. Yeah. Yeah, we're it's bad here in Oregon, but yeah. California, yeah. Pff, please. Good luck. Yeah. So you know that's something. You're making that's less like, than like eighty thousand a year. You're broke. You're on the yeah, streets. That's literally how it is nowadays. It's ridiculous. So I feel like that's something that's important to point out oh, yeah, when, when you talk about this. Because a lot of people, it's easy to judge people. I'm like, oh, they're a hoe, they're a piece of shit, they're mm-hmm. just a drug dealer and stuff. But it's like, hey, they need to eat too, man. Everyone's got to grind. Yeah, exactly. Respect awesome. You niggas talking games to a bitch behind the model of nigga because if you really know me, you know that I'm really legit. I put money in everybody pocket that I be with, and I don't need that sentimental shit. I don't need a hug every time I put my hands together. God show me love and just know that after every show, I got a roll on me dope. The type of money where you happy alone, and I'm like. That was good. I like that, that one. That was a good. Beat. I, I like the beat, fun. obviously. Yeah. California good love. Yeah. yeah, and it, it was. It was a good. It was just a real message where mm-hmm. it was just like, hey, you know, like I'm out here on my grind. I'm gonna take care of my people, and like, don't don't, mm-hmm. don't judge me for it. Because how can you judge? You know, no. we all have our own personal grinds to go yeah. through. Yeah, I like that. Hey, hey, look, you bitches acting. I'm oh, sick of all this capping. I'm the only bad bitch that's out right now, really rapping. Mm-hmm. You niggas suck, can't handle all this boss. I ain't mad, nigga. I just got that pimping in my top. Bitches running out of bars trying to keep up with me. If I ain't playing with your pussy, why you coming for me? You only doing all that shit because you want me to see. You can't stun on bitches that you really trying to be. Look, I'm getting money. You get. Damn. That was, that was a line. That was yeah. a setup of just really great bars. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, from the beginning when she's talking about like 
Fuck, I, I forgot what I wanted to say initially no, you, you, about that. I'm sick of all this capping. I'm the only bad bitch that's all right now. Really rapping. You niggas soft. Can't handle all this boss. I ain't mad, nigga. I just got that pimping in my top. Bitches running out of bars trying to keep up with me. If I ain't playing with your pussy, why you coming for me? Yeah, that's what I want. So, like, when she... Because it's just true. Like, bitches mm. right now, bars try to keep up with her. It's true. I mean, it's making a step. We've talked about oh her spinning God. ability and her yeah. lyrical ability. Yeah. You know look what I mean? It. Yeah, look, look, at, look at it right now. This, this is, is an eight minute video. We're only a minute 45 or 54 into it, and we're just full of bars. Yeah, exactly. And then another thing is, you know, I, I love the line when she was like, if you're not eating me out, basically, mm. then, you know, why are you trying to come for me? <laughs> you mm. know what I mean? I love that. It's just funny wordplay. And the last one. You only do all that shit because you want me to see it. You're only doing all that shit because you want me to see. You're yeah. only doing all that shit because you want to be me, is what oh, she says. Yeah. And that's just facts. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So that, like, I don't know. That, no, that yeah, just yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. goddamn. This is, this is like, this is good. I really do like this. Yeah. yeah. You can't stone no bitches that you really trying to be. Look, I'm getting money. You getting out of pocket. Talking cash shit. Probably ain't even got no wallet. Now hurry up and clock in before I get the clock in. You up in your motherfucking head with this pot of real freak, bitch. Bad attitude. Snatch a rich nigga ice. You niggas is blocking your best. Oh, if you so worried about me getting best, but bitch, I'm a business. You wanna get in it? Go put down your phone and pick up a pen. I understand you thought you were smart. Blind the blind, you're all in the dark. I know you used to see a mediocre. I know the fuck getting lower and lower. Nigga. So if you guys know, we did do a reaction video to this specific song. I believe this is the Bless the Booth. Uh, so yes. there'll be a card right here. So you can go and check out that if you haven't yeah. seen our full reaction to this. But we, we love this song. We are. We're going to yeah. skip it because we have done it. Yeah. You know, and for the sake of like video length and time, since it's in depth and there's yeah. a long more to go, we are going to skip it for here. I did want to hear the first few bars because like, yeah. oh, it's just so fire. fire. It's so it's fire. So fire. make sure to go check out our full review of that one. Thank you. I love it. Banana, fanna, fo fanna, my pussy tastes like a fanna. Niggas warm, banana. Banana, banana, fanna. Fanna, my pussy tastes like a fanna. I was not, how does she do that? Like, how does, like, every single time she's like, but you know, she's sitting there right and she's like, how many niggas about to have the exact reaction we did when I say this shit? God, I didn't hear that one more time. Okay. Banana, fanna, fo fanna, my pussy tastes like a fanna. Niggas warm, banana, say, when they eat me for dinner. Bitches really pretend it's a wonder, be my contender. Cause if you go off the wall, then I guarantee I'm a winner. Three days, see, I'm a real bitch. I feel bad. I'm a real bitch. 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 I'm a Come hang out with the team. <laughs> Fucking broke niggas ain't gonna get you what you need. Speak that shit, girl. Yeah. That's so funny. Like she said, she said, put yourself in the right crowd. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, that, and that's yeah. what it is. You know, yeah. there's a statistic out there that uh, the majority of people, if you look at them and their three like best friends or who they're closest to, all their incomes will be like relatively similar to each other. Hmm. Hmm. That makes sense. If you want to make more money, step your game up. Go yeah. out there and meet higher profile people. You know what I mean? Like, you become the people that you surround yourself with. Dog, I'm broke. We need more Patreons. Sign up at Patreon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Help us become those higher profile people, and then you can, you can be our friends, and you know. <laughs> Just saying. Let's get it. Call them when you have an emergency. Ooh. Hey, oh, hey, okay. Oh, Running up them bands, trying to bob till I fall. Running from his bitch, he gon' come when I call. If it ain't about money, then you know I ain't involved. Worry about these motherfucking haters, not at all. Nine times out of ten, I'm the realest bitch you know. If it's you ain't wanna the pimp, then what you fucking with me for? Yeah. If you ballin', then you know it, then let the money show. If the actors get to spin it, I'ma show them to the door. Can't I shake with it? Shake the shake with it. And if the beat live, you know little Jew made it. And when I Pop it, he gets stiffer than some fake titties. And don't be worried about who I'm fucking, cause you can't hit it. Hey, running up them bands, trying to ball till I fall. Hip on with your daddy, then you know. I need to pause that, cause that's so funny. Dude, hey. Like, like everything about that is so good. Yeah. And again, this is one that we have done before. Yeah. But, um. Still another fire. Yeah, yeah. Fun, I love the stiffer than some fake titties. That's a funny line. That's, mm -hmm. that's clever. Mm -hmm. But then the line where she's like, she's like, don't worry
that's such a message to out there to all the guys. You know, mm-hmm. there's so many like like sleazy guys, and you see them all yeah. the time. Sleazy, think they can get with like a dude, girl, and, like all this shit on be with them, and it's like, nigga, she don't even want you. Like, no. like, like you sitting there thinking and simping for these girls if, and yeah, stuff. If, like if you're, you're gonna hit, yeah. And she said it in another book, but if you if you haven't, if you're still waiting on the hit, then you a lame nigga. Mm. You know what mm. I mean? Like, don't sip. Respect yourself, kings. For one, yeah. don't simp. Don't be out there. You know, queens. You already know you guys are in the wrong. You guys know what you're doing, okay? I know what you're doing. But you also profile pictures. Be a queen and know what you're worth. So don't <laughs> let no broke nigga hit. Yeah, if you exactly. don't bring nothing to the table, don't let him in. Don't let him in. Because guess what? If you get pregnant, <laughs> you still ain't gonna bring shit to the table but a baby. <laughs> That child's <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that. But if he broke, how you gonna pay it? <laughs> you think about it. At the mall. If I'm with a nigga, then you know I'm in them jaws. How you let a broke nigga talk you out the draws? I don't even chase liquor. Why would I chase a nigga? He said I should be nicer. Well, your dick should be bigger. He said it better be good. By the way, they... Oh, you break and I hit him back and told him, but they just defend who you asking. I got an ex that say he gon' leave his new bitch whenever I call him. Got an ex that say that every time he see me, it's gon' be problems. Got an ex that's on his homeboy, I be trying to stop me now. Got an ex that miss me so bad, probably praying for me now. Hey, running up and bands, trying to ball till I fall. In the Gucci store, finna tear that bitch down. Money on my phone, yeah, like a lead calls. Pussy like a drug, and he having withdrawals. Money, money, I need more. Get it, get it, oh, watch me go. I be out doing these bitches, I'm like Michael Day T. Doe. Not the one to compete with, you don't want it with me, bitch. Got the big who can't say you when I come for your head, dude. Okay. Got the moves like I'm Ryu, yellow diamonds, Pikachu. When I switch my hair to blonde, I'm finna turn up like Goku. I go crazy in this bitch, I go crazy in the booth. He go crazy when he see me, and his girl go crazy too. And this pussy's the fact yeah. that she made like two yeah. video game yeah. references and yeah. an anime reference back to back to yeah. back. She had the uh, Pichu and then the fucking go blonde. She has the, she, yeah. yeah, she started out with the Shoryuken, Yuken, like Ryu, yeah, yeah. you know, into the and yellow like Pikachu. Pikachu. Yeah. And then the yellow hair yeah. like Goku. Bro, yeah. like, I love that. I love that. Like, yeah. as like an anime nerd and like growing up being a gamer and stuff, like, you know, like, yeah. that, that speaks to us. Like, that's oh, for yeah. people like us, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what, like, makes us appreciate it's her so more. It's so funny because we talked about this so many times, but you're like, you can bump. Maybe right, mm-hmm. and like, you can like sit back, get get in your low rider. Like, oh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, what was that? That uh. so was a '68 Chevrolet, whatever. They, <laughs> they always be rolling well, back in the day. Get your get your Monte Carlo out, mm-hmm. you know, like the roll and yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah, but then like, then she's out here putting out anime references, and I actually saw some Twitter beef about her, like some like stuff t- uh, news talking about her being like people being like she's a fake anime fan. Uh, nobody's gonna fake being an anime fan. Let's be honest. <laughs> Come on. All right. We're a fake weave. It was like, it's like Are the whole gamer that? girl thing. Like, that was oh, a big movement. Yeah. Like, oh, there's a bunch yeah. of fake gamer girls. And it's like, hey, just let people do them. Yeah. How about that? Do them. Mind your own damn business and work on your own life. Yeah. Don't judge people. So, with my head to eat it with a spoon. I was in bikini bottoms because I got that dual look on. I don't want to fuck a miffy telling me what he do not. I will put my butt and spin it on the head like Ben Tunas. Hey, running up and bands trying to bow till I fall. Bitch, I'm out there here, so you know I'm out the ball. Bitch, I'm not the one, so watch your motherfucking mouth. Hi, girl, man from the motherfucking south. Hey. Ah. Hey. I think so. Uh, did you hear that line? I love that line where she said, Yeah, you fuck with Trump, so I didn't yeah. buy them Yeezys. Yeah, Yeezys. Yeah, yeah. Yeezys. That, I like that. I, like, I don't yeah. know why, I just find yeah. it like. Is it one of those like. Yeah, yeah, really good wordplay. She's, like, sewing, she's sewing this together, like, because it is freestyle. Like, this mm-hmm. is like. Yeah, she does a yeah. really good job of like just sewing it all together, bringing mm. it all, like having like a theme with it and like writing that theme. I wonder it. if like writing f- her features in these other songs is really easy for her, cause like it's like all right, I'm talking about fucking some fucking some bad bitches, throwing some money, shit, got it. Cause we just did a movie, right? And yeah. She's like really pivish in that, um, and then I, I wonder if this is the part that she like is challenged by, or if it's the other way, like her freestyles mm, are her mm, easy, like she's just like. Her freestyle is like her natural flow, and then writing the the hooks and like the yeah yeah that's true because like you do have artists that are either better freestylers or they're mm-hmm. b- better writers mm-hmm. or they're the best at performing and so they don't write their own things like Hardy B for example yeah. you know what yeah. I mean and so it's interesting to see like I wonder which one she struggles with more because I don't know because both are yeah. so good yeah they're really really good you I'm know not, what I mean? not trying to take away from either side of them I'm just.
just wondering, like, where... I, I would yeah, which one would be harder? Like, which yeah. one is, is she or the best she at? Prefer? Like, yeah. that would be a great... I would love to tweet out to her and be like, hey, what do you prefer? Like, Everyone go spam tweet her yeah. now. We'll spam figure it out. Spam tweet Megan Thee Stallion. We'll figure it out. Yo, that's so cool. She says like she's like let the streets eat though, because like yeah. you know. And then she was talking about how like everyone's walking around the streets looking like Resident Evil. Yep. Because like like it it really is like a mm -hmm. lot of like people nowadays are like just barely hanging on to life and like, especially with the pandemic Literally. and things like that. Like it's just like in depression too. Mm -hmm. Like you know we and get drugs, like, drugs get is a huge problem. Meth around. in the yeah. streets and oh, stuff. Oh, meth yeah. is huge. And you know the funny thing, the thing that I really like about that line is it's similar to a whole song that I wrote called Hollow. Uh, you can check it out. I think on my YouTube mm -hmm. and also SoundCloud and Spotify and all that. Um, Plug. Yeah, but literally that whole song was just about like what I saw, like just going mm -hmm. around Salem, Oregon streets, mm -hmm. and all these these homeless people, all these people oh, yeah. strung out and stuff. And like the song's called Hollow. It's also like a Dark Souls reference to going mm -hmm. hollow and stuff. So I thought it was pretty clever. But you know, whatever, I'm probably just a dumbass. <laughs> but you know, like I do like that because like yeah, it's something that that I feel like people don't want to talk about. You know? Oh no, yeah, it's a really hard topic because like yeah. obviously she's making money, and it's like, oh, why, why don't you go fix the problem? All right, first of all, one person can't fix this problem, okay? No. This is a huge thing, and the government's trying to fix it, but they're just trying to, like, subsidize and, like, give out a bunch of money, and yeah. it's, not, it's not working, Band-Aid right? fixes. Yeah, it, yeah, Band-Aid fixes, literally. And so, like, she's talking about, like, as a as a whole, like, she's bringing light to it, and I really do like that. Mm -hmm. and it's really, really hard to bring the truth out about a subject because you'll get a lot of negative feedback for that. Hey, the first step to fixing a problem is awareness. You have to be aware of the problem before you can fix yeah, it. Yeah, exactly, so... Let's get it. Drive jeans, belly chain, like it's on five. Bachelor rich, get in that bachelor's degree. I ain't gonna be on my ass if a nigga leave me. I be trying to make A's while my niggas move in peace. He know I'm a heavy bag, cause that's how it's supposed to be. Who your niggas ain't got you? Mama didn't watch you. Move with your granny, but your granny couldn't stop you. Making all that money, now these bitches wanna top you. Going to sleep, then they pick your pocket, pee your piper. Huh. Yeah. That's so good. And that's like like some insight into like what she actually experienced you know mm -hmm. what i mean like well, i'm sure you caught that but a lot yeah. of that i feel like she was talking about her own experiences you know okay. where, like yeah, she's yeah. been betrayed by people and like her mama couldn't have for whatever reason like yeah. her, like her granny was there but her granny was probably more of like the reserved type of like you know like mm -hmm. like just be careful like don't be too ambitious and she was like you know you can't stop me i'm ambitious i'm gonna go yeah. for it her grandma also grew up in an era where it wasn't like you couldn't be a proud black woman yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, and like, like her being such a prominent, proud, proud black woman, it's mm -hmm. probably like, like it's kind of like, huh, we can do that now, but also like, and yeah. like amazing for her grandma to see. It's such a huge progressive thing, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, you know, absolutely. And then you know, like with like the Peter Piper, like yeah. your friends pocket when you're You'll sleeping, pick your time pockets. Yeah, you know? and I know that she's had. Um, I don't know if this is related because I'm not sure when this timeline is, but I know that she did have friends that you guys had told us about yeah, that the had video betrayed her. In pimping. Yeah, right, they yeah. had, like, betrayed her or something like that, and she wasn't friends with any of them but one. I'm not yeah. sure if, like, how that beef has evolved over the years, but, yeah. you know, just from what you guys have told me and stuff, so that could yeah, be related she, to she's it. she's probably like, yeah, as soon as you, like, you let your guard down, like, people mm -hmm. will steal from you yeah. when you're getting famous. Especially the more successful you are, like, the snakes yeah. in the grass. Oh, know? my God. That's why you got to mow the lawn. Get your Yeah, and get your shotgun. Mm -hmm. We're shooting snakes. <laughs> Snake shot. <laughs> Okay, that, that was amazing. Yeah, that, that was that was amazing. so good. Yeah, I can definitely tell why you guys had like been yeah. begging us to react to that for so long. Yeah, we have done two of those, right? So go yeah. check them out. Yeah, go check them out. One more in depth for those. Yeah, we did. We've done the fire in the booth, and we've done the bless the booth. Mm -hmm. You know, for more in depth mm -hmm. on those ones in particular. And they really are amazing. They truly yeah, are fantastic. Absolutely. Yeah, and you know, I, I mean, 
we we said most of it i think during the thing so there's not much left to really say about that it's just absolutely phenomenal you know i love megan for her for what she also represents you mm-hmm. know huge step for the black community huge step for the female community huge step for the black female community super yeah. progressive and everything when it comes to that really goes against the status quo yeah Can't say enough good things about yeah. it. yeah you know what i mean and she's coming out of texas yeah which is not an easy place yeah yeah literally <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah. you know she represent houston and all that good shit megan you yeah know, and that's what we can end it on but yes thank you guys so much for watching this video i do hope you enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy the video you know what to do hit the subscribe yeah. button hit the like button <laughs> share this motherfucker everywhere yeah. you know you guys have been yeah. asking for it, so you better share it you better share it with all the yeah. people that want to see it you know what i'm saying yeah and you know what Support us on our Patreon as so well. Support us, support us on our Patreon. We'll have more cool stuff going on there. You know, soon we're, we're getting everything yep. worked out and stuff like that. I also have a poll. When you're seeing this, I have a poll going on on some merch ideas. We're kind of well, playing with the possible. idea of like merch and stuff Maybe. like that, possible merch. So make sure to go uh, vote on that. We there will be a do link a stream down below. Before we do a merch, huh? yeah, yeah, <laughs> we will have a new stream. Uh, yeah. So wanted to mention this to you guys uh we are ready for our next stream we think we've gotten basically everything figured out yep uh, we're trying to aim for next saturday that yep. seems like you know we did it on last saturday so next saturday so not not tomorrow okay not don't come tomorrow expecting mm-hmm. it but but the saturday after tomorrow okay it'll be the first saturday of may right i, I believe so i believe yeah. so so I'm you know calculations right yeah i mean he's jewish he probably knows all that, that, that number that. shit but <laughs> just kidding it's not anti don't kill me <laughs> and you know what it is leave a llama down below if you made it to this yep. far in the video where the real ones are at so llama hashtag gang. llama gang we appreciate you guys so much this is always a blast for us we you guys give us the energy to come out here every single day and make me videos for you. So thank you. Hell yeah. Thank you so much. We will see you uh, in the next one. Yo, if wanna come up, your man better step up. Math fat bed, just watch from my checkup. Matter of fact, bed, just stop in the flex up. Matter of fact, just no pump in the blow. Wait, 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 hold up, is it too late? Just set the record straight.